Welcome back to my channel. What's up everyone? We hope you are having a great day. Banksy's jaw-dropping street art is the talk of the town. Banksy, whose real name and identity remain unconfirmed, is a street artist based in Bristol, England. Now, a company holds the responsibility to preserve or sell street art, and today, we will delve into how astonishingly Banksy's gorilla in a pink mask is to be sold as NFT for this much. Number 5. Banksy's Previous Art Age 48 and living in Bristol, England, Banksy is a pseudonym for a highly talented man. He first began his work in street art in 1990. His themes lean toward politics. One of those has a painting that depicts guerrilla warfare, underclass citizens snatching away the power who have been prejudiced. Banksy does not rely on the concept of artsy realist skills. He is a committed artist who has sold his art for the sole purpose to help society. Many spokespeople have their criticism to throw out. Peter Gibson, a spokesman for Keep Britain Tidy, asserts that Banksy's work is simple vandalism. Another official for the same organization stated, We are concerned that Banksy's street art glorifies what is essentially vandalism, but they too will never deny the sheer intellect Banksy patches in each of his works. Because of the secretive nature of Banksy's work and identity, it is uncertain what techniques he uses to generate the images in the stencils. However, it is assumed he uses computers for some images due to the photographic quality of much of his work. In his book, Wall and Peace, he mentions that as he was starting to do graffiti, he was always either caught or could never finish the art in one sitting. He claims he changed the stenciling while hiding from the police under a rubbish lorry while he noticed the stenciled serial number. He then devised a series of intricate stencils to minimize the time and overlapping of the color. He has collaborated with several NGOs, non-government organizations, and sells his art pieces to fund them. I guess being part of the art society is not enough for him. He loves to provoke, shock, even disturb society, which is why his work is so important. Despite his ability to break the rules, he remains a mystery since his true identity has never been revealed. Therefore, one of his works, Gorilla in a Pink Mask, is being sold as NFT for 1 million. Number 4. A Little Background on the Organization The company behind the initiative, Exposed Walls, which specializes in the preservation and renovation of street art, is also offering holders of the NFT, non-fungible token like Bitcoin, the chance to own a unique work by Banksy with a potential value of $1 million. This work will be announced when the edition is sold out and will be awarded randomly to one of the holders of the NFTs. They will choose to have the physical artwork or a unique NFT depicting it. The Gorilla in a Pink Mask NFT will be fractionalized into the number of the edition. Owners will receive a certificate of authentication, showing the mural segment on which the artwork appears. The concept is that you own part of a historical work by the artist instead of other platforms that allow you to buy shares in artworks. It is more focused on collecting than investing. Number 3. What is Gorilla in a Pink Mask? Gorilla in a Pink Mask is known to be the first time Banksy portrayed a bishop in his work and can be seen as a precursor to devolved parliament in 2009, which depicts chimpanzees and apes debating in the House of Commons. Monkeys had become a recurring idea in the artist pieces by then. They can be found listening to music on headphones or, in one case, preparing to detonate a bomb. The artist uses them to draw parallels between humans, the closest relatives in the animal kingdom. Employing them to critique power, corruption, and consumerism is what the works are saying. Examples include Laugh Now in 2003, which showed a row of orangutans with sandwich boards carrying the quote, Laugh now, but one day we'll be in charge. In something else, Monkey Queen, one is used as a stand-in for Queen Elizabeth II. Number 2. What is the motif here? The art, as said before, is preserved under the organization Exposed Walls. They have done a splendid job in keeping their oath to protect the art that most people mock as ruining the aesthetics. Underground art, however, not only is vibrant but reflects the difficulties faced by the lower class citizens of modern day Britain. Banksy has been a part of the team for a long time now and there aren't any complaints heard from him yet. A spokesman for the company said, Exposed Walls tends to focus on works that are on the verge of being lost to history, as was the case with Gorilla in a Pink Mask. Our intention is for this piece to one day be housed in a museum. Number 1. All for a good cause Banksy's one of the most influential graffiti artists of this century. He has played, though private, a significant role in conserving the art of other artists and funding movements that function to bring a better change to the country. His paintings are worth that extra money. Well, that's all from us on this one. Make sure to give this video a like to encourage us to keep making more videos for you guys. 
hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel to make sure you never miss another video.